guys. We've reached 100 subscribers. Do you know how happy I am? You know, I I'm sure anybody who has ever, who makes, who has, tries to make a YouTube name for themselves, you know, tries to say, hey, I want to make, I want to make videos and do this sort of thing. Well, I'm pretty sure what goes through our mind is, can we, are we going to be popular? Is people actually going to like me? And you know what? I'm glad you guys stuck with me. I'm glad you guys subscribed to me. You, uh, enjoy my work. Give me some ins. Give me feedback. Tell me, hey, you should do this. Hey, you should probably work on that. Actually give me advice. So, for this, I'm going to do something really good. It's going to be a fast and light game. But it's a special one. Here... Oh, wait, that's the mods. Here, I'm going to be playing with the Infinite Space mod and the Lost Hunter ship, which I believe is the best ship to do this. And pretty much, it's going to be a marathon game. Pretty much, I'm pretty much going to quit, you know, if it comes like, if it goes, if I go over an hour, I'll stop, start uploading the video, and then I'll just continue on until eventually I die. However, if I keep going at this for five hours, I'm just going to straight up quit. Because at that point, I, I probably wouldn't die anyway. This is pretty much a, a marathon game, and I'm going to ask some questions. I'm pretty much just going to answer a few questions. Tell you a bit about myself, why I became a gamer, that sort of thing. Who's my favorite YouTubers? Oh, yeah, what's my dreams? Oh, why am I at like this? So, yeah, I, I pretty much, I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Oh, by the way, finally I was able to patch my game and figure out how to set mods. So, yeah. Choose our weapon. Our weapon is this. And we are going to play on normal mode because, hey, it's going to be this hard. I mean, look at what we got. We pretty much, we're pretty much set to take on anything. What do I want? Well, an additional crew member. And I'm going to take a slug. So we're going to dismiss Sophia. Instead, we're going to, yeah, we're going to, we're going to have Walker here do the work. So, uh, let's get started on moving some of our crew around. So, yeah, you guys probably have wondered, what got me into Faster Than Light? Well, Well, what got me into Fashion of Light was actually, uh, Sips. Not Sips, a Shin from the Yogscast. He did a Fashion of Light Let's Play, and pretty much it looked like a lot of fun. I noticed the price was affordable, and I pretty much got my dad to use his PayPal account to buy it and gift it to me. That way, because I, I don't have a PayPal account. I still don't, but, you know, yeah. Pretty much, I have loved this game, so let's take out the scout. Uh. Alright, wait a moment. Just wait a moment. All these guys is club. Alright. Fire everything. We got 95 missiles. I think I can afford to waste them. <laughs> oh, man. That is awesome. All right, what do we got at the store? I want to. I'm. I'm curious to see what we get. We can actually buy. Oh, I can buy a stealth weapons, a scrap recovery arm, which I don't need. In fact, the only thing I wouldn't want, I don't want, is the fat, the recharge booster. That's like the only thing I don't need. All right, we're just pretty much gonna stop at the store and pretty much just buy fuel and such. Oh, really? You, you, you think you can take me? Well then, let's send the crew over. Yeah, we're gonna do thing. Yeah, we're gonna mix it up a bit. And for this, yeah, we're gonna take out the crew. Now, that's not to say we can't heavy eye on everything.
Okay. Tag in. There you go, heal up. Yeah, that was great teamwork, guys. Great teamwork. We got like a boarding crew, we got everything we need. By the way, I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere. This ship has got a hull of 99. I don't think I'm gonna die. I, I'm pretty sure that everything we come across will die. That's why I said if this thing goes for five hours. <laughs> I'll be surprised if anybody can sit through this in one sitting. Oh, you're trying to get away, huh? Really? You think you can get away from me? Well then. Well, boys. Why don't we, uh, show them what we do to people around here. Yeah! <laughs> oh, look at that. That was... I really don't care about those. I want to think of the big ships. Yeah, so in case you if you remember, Infinite Space does not... I mean, oh, looks like we're going to take out a big ship. Mind your business. We'll leave your entire crew stranded on a desolate planet. Uh, second like that, we'll just kill you and take your ship. And they've cut off our oxygen. Wow. Wow. Okay. Honestly, I did not expect him to do that. Then again, I forgot that these were the guys who did that. However, that is not to say we can't stop them. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can actually go... I can board their ship and take them. Especially since I, uh... Okay, why did they beam into the oxygen to destroy it? I don't think that's gonna work. Well, I don't think we have enough time to be actually able to go onto their ship to kill them. So, we're just going to blast them to hell. You know, blast them to hell before, you know, before we die. I don't want this episode, I don't want this series, this uh, thing to end so soon, you know? Oh, come on. Take him out. Thank you. Alright, what do we get? There's a secret stealth ship with an advanced cloaking device. So pretty much, we're going to go kick its ass. Well, the good news is that the oxygen is still up. So we'll just let those two repair it. So, uh, a little about me. I am diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome. If you don't know what that is, long story short... I was pretty much born with my brain developed really differently. Like, I, I'm i high functioning, okay? It, autism goes on a spectrum. Pretty much, you can sort of mix and match different traits, but we're sort of on the same boat. I'm high functioning, which means I can sort of pass off as normal, but with a few eccentric tendencies. Well... Few eccentric tendencies is kind of an understatement when you're talking about me, if you've seen a lot of my videos. Um, pretty much, I'm, I sort of have trouble with socialist situations. I'm not, I'm talking like, outside of the computer. I mean, out here, you guys are understanding of me. You guys are like, yeah, you're cool, you're cool. You know, we don't hate you. Ah, uh, sweet, I can just do that. I can do this all with one map. I love this now. I can actually just click my mouse wheel and just play this with one hand. Nice. I can do this with one hand and eat a slice of pizza with another. Just like Earthbound. Yes, I just referenced Earthbound. And I fucking loved that game. I gotta do a Let's Play of that someday. That's what I wanna do. I wanna do a Let's Play of that later. Oh yeah, Thunderdome is ass.
Yeah, Thunderdome him. Yeah, dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh, come on, take him out. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. All right, we took out the ship. Yeah, I'm not just gonna obliterate every ship. I actually want to try, you know, killing him in different ways. Well, okay, I can't burn him to death. As much as I would love to go around and burn people to death. On the other hand. I suppose for maybe a 500 viewers, a 500, okay, I, I, I am going to do this, I'm marking this, this is going to be, if I ever forget, remind me, but for my, if, when I get 500 subscribers, the next thing, I'm going to do infinite space, but it's going to be a marathon of me trying to go through infinite space with every ship I have. That I have played with, that I have in like the vanilla game, the, let's see, in the vanilla game, in all my mods, the only one exceptions will be the god ships. Pretty much the hunter, the death star of sharks artillery mod. It'll pretty much just be me just trying to see what happens. You know, I'm pretty sure some ships will fare a lot better in infinite space than this. So what do you guys say? You guys want to see that? Write in the comments. Let me know what your favorite episode was. Because I'm pretty sure that most of my subscribers are from Faster Than Light. Oh, system repair drone. Eh, I don't... Do I really need that? You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy... Well... Mm, equipment. You know what? Yeah, I think I will buy a system repair drone. I, I don't need the hull repair. I like a system repair drone up and running because, well, think about it. Isn't it easy? You know, I don't have to worry about stuff. Though what would also be nice is to have an anti-personnel drone about here. And I thought the system repair drone was only, wor only worth one hmm. power source. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe I would imagine that. All right. Let's save. Let's sell the Zoltans. Hey, you want to fight? All right. We're taking out your med bay. We're sending a boarding drone in. You guys, take him out. Oh, he landed in the oxygen. He landed in the oxygen. That is nice. All right. Let's take out our... Repair drone instead. Separate ours. Separate defense drone. Alright, I'll just have those two repair while we wait. Look at that. I took out the med bay, and my drone is actually owning him. Look at that, look at that. They don't have any oxygen in there, that is awesome. Oh, here they come. Probably should stop sending the missiles, cause I think, we, I think there's enough. I think we did enough damage with uh, the med bay. Oh, <laughs> and it landed right there. That is awesome. Oh man. Nice. That was beautiful. Could you imagine the look on the Zoltan's face when they find the ship and it's like completely empty and crap? Oh, we gotta do this. And we find a whole laser smasher. Yeah, we pretty much. I don't even have to worry about the nebulas anymore. I could just go through them, no sweat. Awesome. Oh, well, they're pissed. They're royally pissed. So, what shall we do? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? People have always asked me, what's my favorite music? Well, I really have no preference. It's not like I, oh, I like rock. No, I like different kinds of music, mostly stuff with like a good beat. But if I had to say what was my favorite song, scop it up, do 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 it up, I'm the scat man, skibbly bo tere do. You better do, skibbly bo better do, you better do, bada bee, ba 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 da bo. 
pa 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 da po pi pa 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 da po pa 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 da pa da pa pi pa 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 da po repeat after me pa 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 da po it's a skip a libby do bo melody yes my favorite song is i'm the scat man by by the now by the now passed on scat man john scatting is a term for freeform jazz it it's using your mouth to make like those beats Kinda like what rap is. All right, let's get him. We see you. We're gonna get you. Unfortunately, you have. All right, this is actually gonna be a bit of a tough fight. So let's do this. It's not be. It's because they're trying to escape. That's what they're trying to. They're gonna escape. Plus, they got the stealth system. Also, I can't just send troops in because, for starters, they got the charge up. Alright, so we're pretty much just gonna take out the shield. Oh, I said take out the shield. And we're gonna move from there. Okay, that could have worked out a little better. Damn it! Missed. Alright, set up the anti ship drone, and hopefully we can do this. This is gonna be a hard fight. I don't want it to escape. Because of those anti-personnel it's those defense drones and crap. Alright, disable, disable, disable. Man, it's not like I can't I can't send troops in because there's no way to you know get because they're gonna get attacked by everything. Including two def, two anti-personnel drones. And I don't think we can handle that. Much as, as badass as four, you know, three mantis and a rock, you know, attacking. I have my doubts that they could survive. Crap! Got away. Taking the advanced technology with them. Ah, well, well, we'll get the next one probably. I hope. All right. Oh, we got the mantis. And they've disabled my teleporter. So that means if I want to wipe them out, I'm going to need to send boarding drones in. All right. But they're also going to send guys onto my ship. As well as some robots. All right. Well, these guys are dicks. These guys are dicks, first off. I mean, seriously. Come on, man. Don't do this. I did they just blast? Okay, rewind right here. I just saw my ship get blast. It's like it blasted. You got these guys are assholes. <sighs> and stop destroying everything. You see me destroying your play? Okay, okay, I guess you're right, you're right. You got me on that one. I do that to you. Okay, this is starting to get a little ridiculous now. Oh, and what did they do? They send... They send their troops in now. Well, actually, that might make things a little easier for me, because that means I could just wipe them out one at a time, and it'll be easier to fight them. However, they, on that note, they are also wiping out my stuff, which is a problem. However, I'm, they have, they're failing to defend their place. Oh, we lost the guy. Right off the bat, we lost the guy. Oh, really? You send it into the oxygen. I'm telling you, these guys are great A assholes. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, now let's hope the missiles can 
let's hope that the uh, drone can distract him long enough to. Yeah. You know, my defense drone is kind of crap. You know. I mean, look, it's letting everything get past. It completely sucks. And I admit, I'm trying not to, you know, destroy the ship. I actually want to see what happens if I l take it out without killing anyone. About, you know, destroying the ship. The problem is that about my teleporter, I really don't have that option. However, uh, so far, I'm actually doing pretty good. Um, fires all over the place with, with standing. As well as that drone. Seriously, that drone is... Yeah, we should go take care of that. And we also lost a guy as well, which is a pain. Alright. Well, I guess it's a good thing I have a system repair drone, then. <sighs> Come on, wipe them out. Wipe them all out. Thank you. So that's it, I don't get anything different. <sighs> what a jip. So I'm gonna pause while my drone gets to work on fixing everything. Took a while, but hey, it worked. And I only lost half my ship. <laughs> okay, so uh, what else can I talk about? Like, what? Who's like my favorite YouTube character? What do I like about YouTube? Like, what's my favorite YouTube thing? Uh, no, we're not surrendering our crew to slavers. Instead, we are probably going to come aboard and beat the crap out of you. Anyway, uh, favorite YouTubers? I love the Yogg's Cats. I am a big fan of them. I mean, that's what got me into doing Halo videos. Not Halo, Minecraft videos. And pretty much the rest is history on that one. Hell, I mean, if it wasn't for the Yogg's cast, I never would have found out about Faster Than Light. Well, I probably would have from Angry Joe, but... I saw some good gameplay footage from Shin. Okay, let's, uh... Why don't we pull him out? For... Oh, boy, that is... Oh, man, he was at one health. Jeez. That was way too close. Well, we also got our drone taking him out. I'll just do this. Set up the repair drone. And then... Miss us! <laughs> Problem slavers! Uh, I also like Continue. I like that show Continue where those guys just watch, you know, play games. For a little bit, see if they want to continue. I'd say I really, I really enjoy their comedy. One of seven moons. Yeah, there's seven moons here. Yay! Now you're part of our crew, and you know what? You're gonna, you know, we're gonna have a full crew of. I should have just done that. I should have had a full crew of mantis. And why is my shields not all up? Wow, that would have been a big mistake. And let's explore the extra field and we find some more stuff. To the quest, because I want to see what ancient civilization stuff we can find. Uh, what's my mode of death? Um, oxygen. Ha, we don't even need it. Look, we don't even need it. We don't even need to do that. We just let's do that and then boom, now we're going to die. We're going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. What's up?
Okay, you know what? Maybe I should pull him out. At least the ones in here, because... Oh. Now let's pull out the ones over... Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I'll take you out. And then we'll send a missile right on their med bay. <laughs> uh, those guys thought they could take me out. Nope, nope, they were mistaken. Because we are the hunter. So we're already in about 25 minutes, so that's good. Um, yeah, so other guys I like, I like Angry Joe. I like watching his reviews, you know, he's, I mean, he's a really good guy, and he does bring up points of what the, uh, game industry should do for us. I mean, they shouldn't just treat us like wallets, they should treat us as gamers. You know, I agree. Now let's explore the planet. And we found a large hostile creature, and we were able to escape, so we pretty much just left the planet. So why don't we just nuke it from orbit, and then... Why don't we just blast the, sh the hostile creature and take it? Oh, oh, we're being attacked by Zoltan. Let's see. Two Zoltan versus two Mantis. Yeah, I think we pretty much know who's going to win this fight. Oh, by the way, Ion! Really? Only one of the Ions hit. You guys fail! Uh, I also like the Angry Video Game Nerd. Angry Video Game Nerd is definitely one of my favorite guys. I mean, he is, James Rolfe, he is definitely one of, a great filmmaker. And I've actually seen some of his films that he's done outside of the nerd genre. I mean, he is really good. I mean, he is talented. Like, I hope he actually gets a career in filmmaking later on. You know, act, you know outside of internet videos. In fact, he's actually doing the Angry Video Game Nerd movie, which is really awesome. Uh, I also like the Nostalgia Critic. You know, uh, uh, it's a shame that he had to... J Doug Walker decided to retire the Nostalgia Critic. I mean, he his explanation is that he was... He pretty much reached his peak. And you know what? That's not a bad excuse. It's not a bad excuse to uh, retire, knowing when you're when you're not gonna be able to top yourself. That's actually really mature. I'm upset, but you know what? I respect the decision. Also, on that guy with the glasses, well, Angry Joe, but he's kind of uh, he's kind of a cousin of that. He's like the Care Bear cousin uh, of that is the Care Bear NC, which. Sounded a lot smarter in my head, now that I think about it. Alright, well, buy everything! Uh, I like me Linkara. Linkara is... really good. I mean, uh, it, his emotions, his jokes, and even his storylines. Really good. And crap, we're taking on guys. Okay, they don't... They do not have the laser. Thank God! However, they took out our med bay. That's a bit of a problem. So, in retaliation, we'll take out theirs. Unfortunately, their uh, defense drones took it out. Hmm. This man is going to make things a little harder, isn't it? Especially since I can't send my crew over without taking out the med bay first. Hmm. Maybe I should try taking out the shields. Hmm. Yeah, we can't even heal him. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard. This is a bit of a hard fight. 
I mean, even with this cruiser and having everything, flying through infinite space is hard. Come on, guys. We can do this. I believe in you. Come on. Um, where shows I like? Well... I like The Simpsons. I have been a big fan of The Simpsons since I was young. I remember my first episode. Oh, uh, it's a stealth ship. Uh, let's hope this time we can take him out. So, I remember as a kid, my first episode I remember watching was the Itchy and Scratchy Land one. You know, where they went to that terrible amusement park. You know, the amusement park that was Itchy and Scratchy Land. The Violent List. The Violent the List Play Center. Yeah, that's what they called it. <laughs> uh, I gotta love the Disney parallels. But yeah, pretty much the robots just went bad and it just was nuts. It was a nuts episode. And I, uh, that's what got me to enjoy The Simpsons, you know. Just seeing all that cart, all that stuff. It was good. Uh, I also enjoy Family Guy to an extent. I admit Family Guy has not been that enjoyable lately. I mean, yes, the episodes are okay, but it's not as funny as it used to be. Jokes just feel like they're going to get dated way too quickly, whereas The Simpsons feel a little more timeless. I do prefer American Dad over, over, it. over The Cleveland Show and Bob's Burger. Ugh. Ugh. I also enjoy Futurama. I am hoping they make another season of it because that was a good show. It was really funny. And that's a pretty nice scientific and mathematical humor that you can see in the background, which always, always puts a smile on my face when I actually get the joke. Other stuff. Hmm. All right, we'll just do that. Yes, hull repair drone, which we absolutely do not need. I'm thinking I want to get a defense drone mark too. And oh, oh boy, these guys are not happy. They want me dead. Yeah, well, we want you dead. What do you think about that? Yeah, they like me now. I can't use the boss beam because it's not going to get through. There we go. Let's wipe him out. Alright. Alright, all that's left to do is just to keep sending the boarding drone in. Ah, screw it. I'll also send... Hey, what's up? Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, stop attacking. Stop attacking. If you attack anymore, you're going to destroy the ship and you're going to take it with you. <laughs> you think you can give the orders not to let him attack. Just for things like that. All right. Alright. Uh, sure. Okay. Your money or your life? Well, they definitely are new to this, so let's take them out. Yeah, We are gonna blast them out of the sky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just one little beam is enough to say, yeah, you can go now. 
And they give me a burst laser mark one. Look at what I got. I do not need a burst laser. I don't need that. I don't want your sandwich. I don't want your sandwich. Pretty much, I gotta take out their shields. Take out the shields. The asteroids around here are going to help. Alright, so we're gonna fire everything we got at those shields, and hopefully we won't dodge a lot. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, beam. Ugh, lasers are... Alright, we'll do it like this. Yeah! Do a little damage to him. Hopefully it'll also help take out some of their drones. Okay, you get to work on repairing that. You, you take over. I don't know who you are. I don't know if you were the former user of the weapons, but you are now at the moment. All right. We're going to wait a moment so we can uh, charge everything and you get back. You sir, heal yourself up. Alright, we're going to wait for everything to load up. Oh uh, no. Damn it! It's not an easy fight. It is not easy to catch up to that thing. All right, get back to get back to your positions. Let's uh, keep moving. Oh, all right. We'll just loot everything and get the hell out of here. Maybe I should get a repair arm. That way I don't have to worry about ever repairing. What else? What to talk about? What was my first game? Hmm. That's actually a good question. Because when I was a kid, I remember I had a Super Nintendo. But the game was like a platformer. But I could not remember what it was. I... I've searched through like a couple of years ago I actually went over and lit over the list of every game looked at footage trying to figure out what game I could have possibly played because I remember it, it stuck out in my mind it was like a platformer and there was animals and the, then I went to this one level where it was like the ground was purple there was this big chasm and I couldn't figure out how to get across it I'm pretty sure it was something I wasn't doing because I was a little kid now, part of me wants to say it was Little Nemo in Dreamland. The problem is that's an NES game, and I'm with, and then a Super Nintendo. Oh boy, and we gotta take on this. So I don't know. So what did they do? They took out my cloaking system. Seriously? That it? That's it? That that's all you took? Took my cloaking system. That's. Not really a bad thing for me now, is it? Especially since I know where everything is. Where you are, where to just hit you, and that's the right spots to piss you off. Enjoy and wait a minute. They got an NG Metabot dispersal here. Ah, oh, that's cheap. That is cheap.
You know what? We're just gonna take. We're not even gonna wipe out the crew. We're just gonna take him out. We're just gonna take out the entire cruiser. I mean, there's nothing. I, I'm not gonna get anything special out of it. I'm just letting him live, or just wiping out the crew. This is just a battle of attrition right now. Alright, well, I think I'm still doing some damage. It's a good thing I got a butt-ton of missiles. I mean, I got enough missiles to declare war on a planet. <laughs> I'm serious. I got enough missiles to declare war on a planet. Or at least a space station. Man, I want to invade a space station now. Give us the ability to do that. I want to do that. That is awesome. That would be so awesome. And how did my defense drone get destroyed? Come on. I know this is a long fight. Uh, what are some of my other favorite shows I like to watch? Well, I have it. I do enjoy The Walking Dead. I am a big fan of that series. I mean, it is a good, great action. And I love the game as well. The Walking Dead game by Telltale. Play it. You will not be disappointed by it. Trust me. Okay, so we got some of them. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna send a boarding drone right on their place while your guys decide to kill us. Try to go into ours. You know what? I think that's funny. I think that's pretty funny. Especially once I take out their oxygen and their their med bay. Isn't that hilarious? I think that's a pretty funny joke. But again, I'm also a sadist. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Well, partially kidding. I think I clean up those bodies in the basement. Wait, I am in the basement. I really should get back. I really should get to work on that. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm pretty much insane. Hey, what's up? What's up? You wanna die? You're dead. See ya. Goodbye. Au revoir. A vida say. Goodbye. Sayonara. Whatever. Yep, they are sending their escort to attack. Alright, so what have we got? Alright, uh, this I can I think I could do this by uh, killing the crew. Hmm. You know what's something okay. Now here's a, something I've always wanted to do. If I were to add a new race to this game, I would want a sort of jellyfish-like creature that are telepathic. They would have a weaker HP. They would be have like I don't know, 75 H, uh, a 50 HP. But their ability is that they can teleport to any room. Like they can go to any room on your ship. Like you know, if there's no door here. They can still just move past the wall into the room. I think that would be for an interesting ship an encounter, because think about it. If you, like, had a ship killer that only destroys, like, you know, it's basically if you tried to invade one of their ships, since there's no doors, you pretty much are out of luck, unless you got, like, a, a specialized boarding party. I think that would be for an interesting race, don't you think? Alright, so let's take out the stealth ship. Hopefully this time we get him. Because it's actually starting to piss me off that I cannot take this guy out. 
I remember how I could take it out using the Death Star, but then again, it's the Death Star. Fire everything! How the hell did they resist that? They literally resisted that barrage. I'm... That is annoying. Yeah, I got phase shift. Nice. Oh, come on. I haven't even targeted anything. So why can't I just charge my missiles and stuff? Wouldn't that make sense that I'd be able to, if they're not targeting anything, I can still charge them? I mean, because I know they're there. I know where they are. I could just lock. I don't have to lock on. Ah! Son of a bitch. Deactivating the anti ship drone. Alright. We are firing like hell. And unfortunately, that did not work. So, pretty much, they're getting away once again. You know what? You know what? Screw you. I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, we can repair the rock ship. Oh my god, the rock ship did a kamikaze on the two mantis and it blew them up. Hey, thanks! Thanks for committing suicide on my behalf. Which is pretty dark once you think about it. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, all right, let's just scan the ship and let's activate it. And now we got info about the sector, and we got a distress signal, as well as some um, as a store nearby. So let's see what the distress signal wants. Up, oh, it's a tr hold on. <clears throat> it's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> you ever stop to think that maybe the guy who voiced Admiral Akbar knew it would be a meme? You ever stop to think that maybe he knew that that's what would happen? I've always wondered, what would it be like to start a meme? I, for one, would want to. Oh, right, I didn't take out the shield, I just took out the uh, med bay. Right. Well, we still could do this. It's like, hello, what's up? It's like, what's up? What's up? I'm in your, I'm in your ship, blasting your crew. Wow, we have just decimated them. Uh, what? They're sur trying to surrender while we're killing them? No, we will not accept your surrender. We're not taking on pri- We're taking- We ain't taking prisoners. Unless the prisoners want to join. Welcome aboard, ya mateys. Uh, other stuff I like to watch. I like Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series. I have been a fan of that for a while. I am a little annoyed that little Karibo hasn't updated. It doesn't really update as often, but hey, what'd you expect? Okay, uh, Defense Drone Mark II. That's what I want. I like to not get blasted by a lot of missiles. Thank you very much. There we go. And we'll move that there. And... Okay. So now I have the capacity to put these two out, and they were like, yeah, we're going to call them Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Yes, we shall release the Tweedles. Release the Tweedles. That's such a lot more badass in my head. <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh, boy. And they're the guys who take up my med bay. These are the uber pricks, as I'm going to call them for now on. Fuck you, uber pricks. Fuck you, stripey bag. Remember that joke from, you know, the Star Wars, uh, the Robot Chicken Star Wars special? I love that joke. <laughs> the, the Emperor goes to the Death Star and 
<laughs> the shuttle lost its luggage. Wasn't he like the only guy on the shuttle? <laughs> okay, seriously? How the hell did missiles get through? I have literally... You know what? That's it. Alright, we're activating our cloak. You forced me to do it. You uh, you made me activate the cloak. Enjoy your having your med bay on fire. Or your shields on fire. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy. You pricks. Ugh, now I gotta fix the med bay. What the hell? Alright, come on, we can do this. There we go, we got him. Another. Ugh. You know, I'm not even going to try and take out the cloak ship because it's pretty obvious we're not going to be able to take him out. We'll just have the repair drone get to work while uh, ki the king here uh -huh -huh, gets to work on uh, getting healed. Uh -huh -huh. Okay, why aren't you healed? Oh, right, the med bay is operational. Duh! Alright. I don't think I really have to do much. I just have to take out the... Take out the shields and then just watch it. Let's watch the asteroids get to work. Of course, I could just do this. Hey, if it's an auto man drone, when firing a ion thing onto just basically the piloting, which is essentially the circuit board, just take out the entire ship? Or am I just more am I just thinking or am I just thinking too much? Yeah, screw it. We don't need to let wait. That often. Boom. Yeah, we're gonna try and let's just avoid the fight. Oh, we got a pirate ship. You are a pirate! Yeah! Alright, yeah. We just thunderdumbed their masses. Oh, and we got a prisoner, but we're not going to accept the prisoner because we don't need him. Don't need him. We're just going to leave him on the flaming wreckage. Well, actually, it's not very flaming. I mean, I bet the guy, if, you know, you can just pilot it out of here. Yeah, you can actually probably do that. Well, we got Zoltan. Or not Zoltan. We got an NG cruiser, huh? So like, there's only three of them. Like, sup? Sup, bitches? Oh, there was four of them. I guess I didn't notice one. Well, does it really matter? Because he's going to die. Oh, really? How did they get past the shield? Were the shields not on? Well, I'll activate, we'll activate the repair drone and let it, uh, you know, stuff fix. We also need, uh, yeah, let's get King healed up. So everybody else here needs a, heal, a bit of a fix up? Is everybody okay? Everybody's good? King, 
You're as slow as molasses. You're as slow as sl off on sake, and that is very slow. Yo, I'm a ninja. It's my birthday. I'm a ninja. It's my birthday. Man, what would it would be awesome to be a ninja? Just go around assassinating people left and right, being all badass. You know what? Okay, what do you want? What do you want? What do, what do I feel like? Uh, death by oxygen, because we don't need the oxygen, do we? we anybody here, uh, uh, okay, we just take it out the oxygen? Everybody's like, no, 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 you fool! Moron! <laughs> four slugs versus four mantis. Dun 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 Okay, we'll just heal him up. Yeah, we're doing pretty well, aren't we? All right, to the. All right, well, before we go to the exit, I think now is a good time to call it quits on this episode. But don't worry, re, re. I'll just get to as soon while this is uploading. I'll get to work on the next episode. So, till then, I'm Brent Tenkage, and I will see you in a little bit.